The San Joaquin Valley, a place abound with food, but where a decent bite may be hard to find. I'm Ramon. My mission, to find all things hidden, unique, and delicious. I'll be joined by Angie. Together, we'll visit some incredible establishments that represent the best that the valley has to offer. So come join us as we find out what's good, Fresno. Hi, Peter. We're here at the uh, Fresno Greek Festival. Is that what it's always been called? or? Well, you know what? It started out actually as a New York steak dinner to raise funds to build the church back in the 1950s. Really? Where my father says that he ate seven New York steaks. <laughs> and now we've, because we do so much more than just food now, we've turned it into Greek Fest. So food is still a big part of this uh, festival, correct? It's or? the central thing of the festival. We've been cooking since June 14th. And we're still cooking. Wow. So we've got enough food to feed a army of really hungry, happy people who know that this is their only opportunity of the year to get Greek food in Fresno, unless you happen to know one of us and come <laughs> over to the house. So this is more, you know, Greek mama kind of cooking, or is it a... It's, you know what, it's fairly authentic. Yeah. Um, we've gone, a lot of, gone through a lot of effort over the last several years to adjust our recipes, make them more authentic, and change things up to make it as close to being in Greece mm. as we can get. With very few exceptions, almost everything is made by members of our community. We're here today at the Fresno Greek Festival with Marcus and the lovely Zandra. Usually what we do is we have the chef at the restaurant pick out what we got. Uh, this time we went through the line and we got everything. It's a very relaxed atmosphere here. You can eat however you want, like our, like our host put it, you can eat caveman style if you want to. And when the cameras are off, I will eat caveman style. Bones will be flying. Someone's just going to dig their face into their plate. <laughs> Xandra, I'll let you, since you are a guest, pick one thing and we'll just taste it and uh, talk about it. I want to dive into the lamb shape. I noticed that when we went through the line, I mean, Mark got a pretty decent sized lamb shape. They looked at me, they gave me a little bit bigger one. And then they looked at you and decided they... They gave me this gigantic thing. <laughs> like you needed the largest one. <laughs> You want to trade? <laughs> no! Oh. oh wow, it's like so tender, it falls <laughs> literally right off the bone. Mm. That's good too, because I mean, if you get really bad lamb, it's tough, you gotta chew on it for a while and rip it off the bone. But yeah, you're saying this, it just falls right off. Pretty much said what I was gonna say, thank you. Okay, I don't think you have what I want to try, so let's go with the chicken. They gave me the entire half of a chicken. I don't know. So if you ever come to the Greek Guild Festival, you're gonna get a lot of food. A lot of food. It looks like it's cooked with um, just a spice rub and olive oil. Simple. And it's perfect, it's simple, it's delicious. Yeah. And the, th the thing I love the most about the chicken is that the flavor is infused inside of the meat. So every bite you take has this amazing, amazing flavor to it. What's next? These are the uh, rolled grape leaves. Question, what's in them? It's like rice, spices, butter. <laughs> I've uh, actually made grape leaves before. These are way better than that. <laughs> Sausage. We're doing sausage now, apparently. It has a really long Greek name. I unfortunately do not know this long Greek name, nor if I actually saw it could pronounce it correctly. Without offending a whole nation of people. Yes. So we're going to call it Greek sausage. Lemony. It is, it is very citrusy. Whatever. this is the Greek version of the summer sausage. What do you guys think? I, I can see that. It feels like you eat it, it's just kind of like, like you said, refreshing or like cool or something like that. What is okay. that? Uh, Greek macaroni, that's what I'm gonna call it. Well, there's like a pasta, there is noodles, a meat sauce. What is on top of the macaroni? It is very, very creamy, but I can't, it, it doesn't really seem like cheese. Huh? It's an egg custard. Pick it? It's an egg custard? It's egg custard. I'm gonna have some more. We are gonna take a break. We're gonna go raid the sweets line, and we'll be back. the pastry line and I must say all I told them was we needed one of everything. 
and we got one of everything. The, uh, these are all small bite-sized pastries, so if you eat a whole box by yourself, you might feel sick, but if you share it with friends, it's kind of nice. Then you all feel sick together. <clears throat> all right, we got the powdered sugar delights, the walnut mystery, the pinwheel of tastiness, <laughs> and I, I can't make pinwheel. up any other names. Pinwheel. pinwheel of tastiness. Got the honey again, but it's not, not feel it though, is it? It's puffy and light. It's like a... It looks like it's fried. It's, it's a, it's like a, yeah, lightly, to yeah, light lightly toasted, lightly fried. Lightly fried. Xandra, I want you to try that one because it matches your hair. And let's all watch. <laughs> There's a reason what? it matches me, it's orange. Citrusy, orangey. That's Delicious. exactly what I was going to say. I thought it was like a cornbread at first. It's a very <laughs> orange cornbread. Orange bread, but it's very delicious. Um, if you ever come to the Greek food festival, I recommend that one because it's really good. All right, this is the chocolate chip baklava. Uh, apparently they're more modern take, so. I recommend that one too. As always, I'm Ramon. And I'm Zandra. And I'm Marcus. And this is What's, What's Good, good Fresno. Fresno. Yes.